Welcome back, friends. Today, we're talking about Forza Horizon 5 and its customization, which is something that is dear to my heart. Customization, customization, rice if you will. It's such a huge part of car culture. And of course, every single Forza game, we really want to see more and more and more. So once again, I'm going to give you an update on everything we know about customization thus far. And of course, beautiful Evo 10 straight away on the thumbnail looks incredible. And of course, I'm going to talk just about that straight away because that is one of the first body kits we actually see in the game. The Evo has a wide body. I ain't talking about no bumpers and rear bumpers and that's about it. I'm talking about a wide body even in the trailer it shows you this beautiful wide body in the red the evo's actual color it should not be another color anyway in terms of body kits of course forza horizon 5 is definitely doing its work but let's just jump into the basics to start with 100 new rims they said rims hundreds of visual upgrades and thousands of of performance upgrades. Now, you can take that two ways. In my opinion, you can either take it as like, oh my God, that's the most you've ever heard. Oh, I can't wait. But the other side could be like, what do they mean by thousands of performance upgrades? Have they actually added thousands? Or is it just like every new car, for example, one, every car in the game now has a turbo supercharger combo option, which to be fair, would be pretty sick. But they say thousands, there were thousands of cars I mean, are there thousands of cars? I mean, there's a thousand. Does that technically mean they're thousands? I've never understood that. You know, a millionaire has a million. Like, no, they should have multiple. Anyway, those are the basics that we got from the article. You can actually see it. Tells you a little bit of detail. I'm just stealing it from the article. This article is very useful. I must say very, very, very useful. Anyway, so what do we think? Okay, so the hundreds of rims, there's no other way to explain that. There's a hundred odd new rims okay cool there's a few brands i would like to see but i would like to see just some mix-up wheels i would like to see some out there wheels there aren't enough out there wheels and that is something that just needs to be done it's also going to consider there's a lot of new off-roaders and stuff going to be added to the game the bronco is a really big focus i imagine there's going to be quite a few off-road rugged baja wheels if you will for this game too. I would love to see new like tire setups too with big rugged tires as an option for basically every car. That would be incredible. Onto the hundreds of visual upgrades. So they say visual upgrades. I'm assuming they genuinely mean like body kits in terms of bumpers, rear bumpers, side skirts. But if you think if every car has two front bumpers, two rear bumpers, two side skirt options, I say every car that's added with customization in this, well, how many is that going to be? So there's hundreds of new, so let's say 200 new pieces. Each car has 10 pieces. It's a small number. But at the same time, I don't really mind that. I'll get into that a little bit later. But in terms of visual parts, I'm hoping that the cars that we hope are the ones getting them. Of course, I want to see some new stuff on the skylines. For example, hopefully there's a new skyline or two in there. I wouldn't complain. But the R34, especially, you know, I want to see. Of course, the A90 Supra, we already spoke a little bit about that. I really want to see some parts for. And of course, the Corvette is all clearly one of those. And honestly, I would like to see some McLarens get some mods too. I think that would be cool. But there's also going to be a lot of off-roaders that get bull bars and all this stuff added to the vehicle. So imagine a lot of the parts will be off-roaders. As I said, clearly we have the Evo 10 with the wide body option. I'm hoping there's multiple. I hope there's some like named brand body kits. I, I love that. Mitsubishi love mods on their cars. It's just so, like they do it. The crew has gone crazy with the Evo 10. You may have seen that if you're a fan of the channel. Now, in the other news, the C8 is also clearly another car that's getting a body kit. We've already spoken about this. TJ Hunt said that his body kit was on the C8 in the trailer. Pretty sweet. Now, in terms of the Supra, he also leaked that the Supra is going to have their kit too. That means Toyota is down with customization. By the way, Toyota, get in need for speed right now. But ultimately, we're going to get a game with a wide body Supra, the new one. And it's a game where we can swap the engine for a 2J to a 
proper engine. I'm going to keep bullying that car. But no, I love the Super. It's a fantastic car. And I think it's tuner's paradise in terms of keeping the engine, swapping the engine, putting a big single on there, making an even twin turbo, putting a supercharger on there because it's Forza. Just doing whatever the hell you want. This car is perfect for it. And I'm looking forward to being able to use it. So we know the Supra, the C8, definitely at least have a new kit each okay what makes me excited about the c8 having it is i don't really picture that car being massively customization tuner focus so it seems like they may have a good mix of the tuners and a good mix of these cars that really don't usually have crazy mods having crazy mods maybe the hurricane can get Oh, now something that is 100% confirmed is the brake caliper customization. This is something that was promised in Forza Horizon 4. We spoke about it a little bit before, but it means, so to me, it means bigger picture. We could expect to see more stuff like this in this game or in the future with some of the cars added to the game. Of course, we had the color sections basically added to the previous game that allowed the cars, you split up the areas and color code different parts of it. I really am praying and hoping that this may be the game where we could get window decals. If not, I hope we are close and I hope that the next game is going to be that game because window decals adds amazing. Just, I don't know. It's going to be a lot of Lightning McQueens though. So may keep it out. <laughs> I'm changing my mind. And finally, jumping on to the performance customization. Here's where I am interested because technically the Forza kits that are in the game, the Forza mods, the Forza wing, the Forza like from bumpery aero bits, those are performance modifications. So thousands of new performance parts to me says a lot more than a hundred visual upgrades. I am, here's, I want and pray that they're going to do some new aero bits on all cars. Because if you didn't know, the Forza wings are basically on every single car. And honestly, they're not the worst things in the world. Some cars, they work quite well. Most cars, though, they don't. They're very old, outdated. But think of it this way. This is Horizon. This isn't Motorsport. Having those is cool, but a lot of us use them as, like, extra bits because we like the canards and we like the splitter and we like the toe strap and stuff like that. If we could have the option to maybe put some of those bits on, like the toe strap only or the aero or the canards only, and then have multiple wings Forza wings that work on every single car, no one is going to complain about that. No one is going to complain. It's something they could do very simply because they've got it on every single car and it fits perfectly and it adjusts well. They could do that with some visual parts. Of course, that is also going to help with the aero. Maybe have varying different aero uh, performance stat changes based upon those wings that are added. I don't care. Ultimately, I wouldn't care. As long as it looks cool, I would pick it. Imagine a chassis mount wing for every car as an option for Forza Wing. No one would say Forza Wing is a bad ever again. So an interesting question for you guys then. What are you wanting to see in terms of customization? And what are you expecting to see? I want you to answer both, not one. Customization in Forza is something that definitely needs to expand to appeal to the car people that play this game long term. We've already spoke about in the past a million times about how you should cater to those long term fans. Of course, most people are not going to bother, but even for the first, like even for like a hundred cars, go ham on the customization, people will appreciate that. But either way, small or large amounts, I'm excited to see what they've been working on in terms of customization because it's clearly it's one of the first main things they properly announced. They've put a bit of work into this. Do I ever think we'll get to need for speed levels of customization in Forza? I'm going to say no. It's not one of the focuses of the franchise. But in, in terms of having more, I'm not going to complain. I mean, I, I would be very happy with more customization. What I think I want to see with Forza, and this is something I talk about and complain about in Need for Speed and every other game as well. I want to see more things universally. For example, the underglow stuff that's in Need for Speed, great. I don't really particularly love, I don't always use it, but to have something like that that's so easy to stick across all cars, which you don't even need to do the placement of for a lot of cars, I think that just makes sense. For example, toe straps on cars. It's such a simple option, but of course the placement on every single car in Forza with a thousand cars is going to be difficult. It's just something I would love to see on maybe even 
a couple hundred cars. As I say, most people are going to be playing with the Skylines, the Supras, the JDM boys, the BMWs, like tuner cars. It's pretty obvious and they can see from the last five, six, seven, eight Forza games that clearly these cars are used the most. So they should get possibly the most options, at least for now. And then the next game, when it changes, you, you, it's just simple to get an idea of what people want to see. They have this data. So all they've got to do now is do it. But one thing I do complain about to the Need for Speed devs all the time is that they don't add body kits to older cars. And that is something I'm expecting Forza to do because it just makes sense. They know that people want to be milking that skyline dry. They know that they want that Supra to have more kits. They know at the same time that we want kits for the new cars, especially the Supra. If there was no wide body for the A90 Supra in this game, people would be livid. And it seems like Toyota may be a bit more like, uh, you know, maybe that's a, that's a good idea. We'll see. I'm keeping my expectations reasonable. I don't want to go out there and say, oh, it's going to be the best mods I've ever seen. I'm not expecting that. And that's, I'm bringing it down. I'm expecting a nice, decent few body kits on a few of the cars I like. And that's fine. And a lot of off-road stuff, which to be fair, if there's like an, they're saying this actual exploration story, I'm for it. Let's go. Be sure to smash like, my friend. Subscribe if you're new. And remember, let me know those answers to those two questions down below in the comments. Until next time, my friends, peace.